Speed Lankin. Helier Speed Lankin born Monroe, Louisiana, November 2, 1927. Monroe, Louisiana, May 3, 2011, was an American novelist and playwright. He is best known for his first novel, Tiger in the Garden, 1950, and was called The Poor Man's Truman Capote by the composer Ned Rahm. He was a recipient of a 1950 O. Henry Award for his short story, Comes a Day. Early Life and Education Lankin was the son of Epp Tyler Lankin, 1893-1958, and his wife, the former Eugenia Layton Speed, born 1901. He was named for his maternal grandfather, Hilliar Ralston Speed, an insurance executive. Lankin graduated Harvard University in 1948, which he had entered at the age of 16. He had one sibling, Marguerite, who became a voice coach for Southern-themed films such as Baby Doll, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, The Long, Hot Summer, and Rain Tree County. Literary career Described as short, poor scene, and effeminate by biographer Fred Kaplan, and a niggery, flirty, shrewd, frivolous, perceptive young person by Christopher Isherwood, Lankin was often compared to Truman Capote because of his gothic prose and literary precocity. Tennessee Williams, however, observed, he doesn't write as well but is more agreeable. Similarly jaundiced was Dodie Smith. He became a sensation at age 22 with the publication of his 1950 novel, Tiger in the Garden. The New York Times called the Southern tale a diffuse examination of the retirement of aristocrats before the vitality of new crude opportunists, but criticized its overall sense of a low-powered, highly polished Hollywood product. Lankin and his friend Gus Field wrote a dramatic adaptation of Isherwood's story Sally Bowles, but it was rejected in favor of an adaptation by John Van Druten. He also contributed fiction to Mademoiselle and wrote a 90-minute television script about the life of Washington, D.C. hostess and Ambassador Pearl Mester in 1956. Its intended star was Rosalind Russell, though the role was eventually played by Shirley Booth. In 1950, he was hired to write an English-language version of La Atra, a Mexican film starring Dolores Del Rio. It was reportedly being written as a vehicle for Joan Crawford. He also wrote for television and Broadway. Notably Comes a Day, a 1958 play that starred Judith Anderson, Brandon DeWilde, Michael J. Pollard, Eileen Ryan, and George C. Scott. Produced by Cheryl Crawford and Alan J. Pacula, the play was not a success, being described by the New York Times as a puzzling drama that was uneven and baffling, and which bore a surface resemblance to art in the Tennessee Williams manner. The Harvard Crimson, in its review, called the play's dialogue spotted with clichés and observed that the plot echoed other dramatic works of the day. After Comes a Day Closed, Lankin returned permanently to Monroe, Louisiana. Published works. St works. Tiger in the Garden, Houghton Mifflin, 1950 1850. Comes a Day, short story. Winner of O. Henry Award, 1950 1850. The Easter Egg Hunt, Houghton Mifflin, 1954. Midsummer, a television play for Matinee Theatre, 1955. The Hostess with the Mostess. A television play, 1957, T7, seven, T7, seven, 7, Comes a Day, a three-act play, 1958, Out by the Country Club, a short story-turned play, written with Eva Wallace, 1961, 